Shagram. Yes, sir. So, what's going on? It's your boy Jelani right here. You know what I'm saying? Checking in with Sean Paul. You know, from one Chinese Jamaican to another. Boom. Straight. So, what's going on with you, man? Well, I'm good, man. I got a new album coming out um, August 18th. Okay. It's called Imperial Blaze. You know what I mean? Right now, I think you're going to drop on the street and cause a craze for a little while. Right, well, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, with your new single, you know, are you trying to aim for anything different from the old singles? Um, my new singles, I think, what it is, it, it it holds the same elements as as um as as past singles in terms of very danceable, very club oriented, uh, melodies, hot, crazy song. Um, I'm spitting in it too, but also what what features a different vibe on it is um. This vibe of um, you know, the the the, the, the music production, mm -hmm. kind of techno keyboards. That's the kind of direction we went in. A lot of music right now sounding very techno and dance and synth oriented. So a lot of a lot of the music kind of is like um, fused with that vibe in it. So that's what's different about it. Other than that, the album features differences in terms of um, in terms of it gets a little bit groovy, a little bit deeper in, in some of the songs. Deeper in terms of a more mature swagger for myself. Like the songs about breakup, the songs about OPP scenario, the songs about um, you know um, um, Romeo and Juliet type thing. Um, the song dedicated to my mom and all mothers in the world. So a lot more mature songs from Sean Paul on this album in general. Well, the, one of my favorite uh, songs you know you did was um, you did for your best for your best friend that yeah. one of your friends died. Yeah, died again. Uh, yeah. So um, they were trying to make him. Straight, yeah. Are you doing any uh, more videos in Jamaica? Um, you know, of late, I, I haven't, like, like, we did one or two local ones, um, over there, but it's just much more, uh, I would say, a better, better money for a dollar, um, mm -hmm. in the States, or in in Canada, where I could pull some favors, there's a difference, I mean, in Jamaica, it's hard to get things down there sometimes, um, due to customs and whatnot, a lot of duty on certain things, yeah. so, um, we don't do much videos there, but we'd love to. I mean, I try to keep as much Jamaican elements in my videos as possible. If it's not colors, why it's, it's definitely movement and dancing. I've, I've always had that in my videos, you know. Okay, that was definitely so. What other uh, artists, you know, Caribbean artists, are you trying, you know, you trying to work with, or you know, I have, you know, that you want to work with in the future? Um, well, you know, I've worked with Rihanna, and I really love her, her, her vibe as an artist for real. Uh, she got a beautiful voice. I wouldn't mind working with her again for straight. Um, there's a girl from Guyana, I know, uh, Tamika. Um, she's hot. She no one knows her yet. Um, they, 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 um, you know, they, there's a couple lot of people here and there. A lot of people from Barbados right now making a lot of ways. So we see what's up. What's that? We're trying to represent the West Indies. So yeah. basically, what else are you gonna try to do so you can inspire the Jamaican youth? You know, once they see you. you know? They be like, you know, they want to be like you, you know, want to get out, you know, yeah. of, the, of the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? So, what are they, what else are you going to try to do to send us back to the game? Well, I think that um, leaders can, can, can really lead by force or just by setting an example. And a lot of people put that onus of being me, being a leader on, my, on myself, like, yo, you're a leader of certain things that's happening with dance hall right now. So, I think that by leading by example, um, I think there's a problem in my country in our country that um, when we make records sometimes we make the rawest records ever yeah. so we can't play on the radio or the TV station sometimes uh, because of the content of what we're speaking about so I think that by me making almost all my songs be able to play in those formats radio, TV stations I mean Chicago is a big place got near 7 million people here those people listening on the radio station and your song plays on there is the best thing for you mm -hmm. as an artist so um, I'm not saying that these people, that everybody else in Jamaica don't do that, mm -hmm. um, but I think that um, I, I focus on that a lot, and it's helped me with my career still, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, I, think, I think that by, sorry, I didn't mean to cut, but by, by, by me showing kids that, that that's the way to go, even silently without even saying it, mm -hmm. if people emulate the music that I do and say, yo, they, they want to make it about that, to really study what I'm doing is not, all of my songs are maybe even provocative, but in... Mm -hmm. Um, they're not. They're not so vulgar, vul vul so much vulgarity or sexuality or violence in them, where it can't be played on the radio format or TV format. So, as a leader, I think that that, that, that um, I just try to lead by that example and be a humble kid, no matter how how big I get. Still.
Definitely. So what's next for you? Oh, uh, what's next? The album's coming out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of artwork on Caps. Um, okay. It's like one of my designs that I, that I've been working on. And um, I'm, I'm gonna do a lot more of those. I have a whole heap more. Um, um, they, they're just in testing stage right now. So everything that you, that that I would, that I will be wearing out that I have is not really out. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah, just being embroidered.